Yeah. I have not filmed a makeup tutorial in over a year. Like that is crazy to me. Like a formal sit down makeup tutorial in almost a year. It feels good to be back in filming a beauty video for y'all. Ah! Today's video is gonna be real laid back and I'm gonna try for my mirror not to be in y'all way, but <laughs> a girl's got to see what's going on. I do have a few new products that I got recently at Ulta that I really want to try out. Um, and I kind of want this to be like a Valentine's Day look. So this is going to be like a chit chat, chill, rant, Valentine's Day, get ready with me edition. Oh, yeah, my people. So I just want to chat and also do a little cute look for Valentine's Day. I got two kids, so I won't be going anywhere for Valentine's Day. I mean, not because I have two kids, but because we are in a state where none of our friends and family are basically. So it's more so for that reason that we won't be going anywhere for Valentine's Day. But I do got a cute little night planned, okay? I'm gonna do a cute little romantic night in. I already um, I already started working on like a menu and stuff. We're gonna have a little appetizer. We're gonna, I'm gonna do some steak, some lobster tail, some homemade garlic mashed potatoes. And it's gonna be cute. Even if you can't physically go somewhere, I mean, you gotta do something. You gotta show your man that you appreciate him if your man is being a man, okay? I'm not rewarding no man who don't pay a bill. And my man pays all the bills. Little belly bumping on, he don't care. I'm still the finest thing walking to him. I kinda had to go ahead and fill in my brows um, off the camera because I cannot talk and do my brows, so. Now that they're filled in, you know, definitely looking like cousins, not twins. We're just gonna do a cute little chill night in. I'ma cook. I'ma get like some rose petals and, you know, sprinkle them all over the house. This is obviously after the girls go to bed. I always hate this bro. <laughs> it's like, she don't ever cooperate. She's clearly the problem child, and I don't understand why it's just so difficult. Okay, so brows are done. I'm just gonna set them with some clear brow gel. This is the one by Benefit. And like I say, y'all, if I don't mention all of the products I'm using, I will definitely have everything um, in the description box for y'all. This is more of like a get ready, not really a detailed, makeup tutorial if you want to know what i'm using and i don't say it it will be in the description box i don't know for today's look like i said i kind of wanted to be like valentine's day inspired i have like this white eyeliner and this pink eyeliner and then i have a white eyeliner and a pink eyeliner for like my bottom lash line i don't know where this is gonna go but I do have the new Amrezy palette. So I'm so, yeah, I'm so excited to use this palette. Like, sis snaps. Like, I love her. I love Amra. Shout out to Amra. She is a sitting queen. They're both Nicki Minaj fanatics. I love me some Nicki Minaj. I don't care. Cardi B, who? <laughs> I'm playing. I like Cardi too, but. Nikki just has a real, real special place in my heart. Where I'm gonna start, y'all? What I'm doing? Let's do eyes first. A little bit of the two. Anyway, so I really was just trying to think of topics to talk about with y'all because I feel like I've been gone for so long and I'm kind of like, I don't know, out the loop. I was actually looking on the shade room the other day, y'all. I just, the shade room is shady. 
AS, hence the name, The Shade Room. But they always just be having the tea going on. I know y'all seen that video of, what is his name? Javante, Javante, the boxer who um, is the ex-boyfriend of Ari. I know y'all seen that video of him jacking up his baby mama at that boxing event. And I'm just like, listen, sir. Now you is dead ass wrong. You know you are dead ass wrong for putting your hands. Like in front of all those people, like people know that we live in a time, we live in an era where everything, if there are other people around, everything is gonna be on video. This man is a celebrity, like he knew that somebody was going to capture a video of him putting his hands on that girl. And then he gonna go on social media and say, well, I didn't put my hands on her. Or he said, I didn't hit her. That's what he said. He said, I didn't hit her. That's the mother of my child. I would never hurt her. Well, you embarrassed the fuck out of her. Like, what? You definitely embarrassed the shit out of her. So I'm pretty sure that hurt her. And it's just like, little man, who are you putting your hands on? <laughs> it's not funny, y'all, but it's funny the fact that I just called him little man. And who are you putting your hands on like that? Who? And apparently now he's been arrested. I think he's, he's out of jail now, but he was arrested. And he got to deal with the consequences of his actions, because you can't just be going around putting your hands on people, sir. I'm actually really, really happy that my good sis Ari just decided to leave his ass. I don't care. I don't know who broke up with who, but I have a good feeling in my heart that sis left him, okay? And she was just like, okay, I'm sick of your toxic behavior. And now she's with money back, yo. And I know, I know, I know I'm about to get, um probably demolished for even saying this but i feel like i have a very unpopular opinion but i definitely feel like ari is better than meg the stallion like i don't care i don't care i don't care i said what i said and my good sis ari is better than meg the stallion now i do like meg the stallion i do i like her like sis Sis be having a bop or two. You know, I'm not too into her music. I'm honestly not. I probably don't have one Meg the Stallion song on my phone, period. But I acknowledge, you know, a good little a good little one two when I hear it. This is cute or whatever, but she ain't no Ari. Y'all. I just fucked up my whole lash. But yes, I just feel like sis is just living her best life now people just talk about how she's all about money she's talking to she's just all about talking with a dude with money but it's like i mean yeah because let's okay let's be real let's be real once you get into a certain status celebrity status and you're introduced to different people you go to all these different events it's like who else is she supposed to date like it would be really hard for her to go to from her g herbo to what's little man's name javante i'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry y'all <laughs> from g herbo to javante and then now she's with money back yo but okay so she was supposed to go from javante to like who like a nigga on wall street or something like who is she supposed to date like she's already been exposed to a certain lifestyle so obviously she's going to date within her social status there's nothing wrong with a with a with a nice man on wall street okay making that quaint there's nothing wrong with that but the man on Wall Street not going to be able to um, live up to her social media lifestyle or like her social media presence or y'all get what I'm trying to say. Shit. Now, is it all about money? No. 
But I'm just saying that people want to just call her a hoe and call her this and call her that because she keeps messing with these dudes in the industry. But it's like, that's what she's exposed to. She's exposed to the industry. So she's going to date men that are in the industry or some type of whatever, basketball player, football player, whatever. Someone who is within the social status that she's in or higher, obviously. And then y'all know the Super Bowl was Sunday, it was recently. And some girl tweeted, I saw the Shade Room post that some girl tweeted and was like, oh, I swear to God, I just saw Ari punch um, Moneybag Yo in the face and he snatched off her wig. Now she tweeted more than once. And I'm just saying, first of all, her wig looked well intact to me before this um, incident supposedly happened and after her wig looked, she looked like she was just living her best life. And then Ari got on Twitter and tweeted and was like, I've only been in one toxic relationship, which was in 2019. Obviously the little man, she's referring to little man. <laughs> she, I'm gonna laugh every time I call him little man. Obviously she was referring to Javante. I hope I'm saying his name right. People always just trying to paint her out to be like a, the bad guy because she's not willing to like conform to how you're supposed to act um, when you get to a certain status or when you have a certain amount of money. Like she's not acting like that. Kind of like how people used to be coming for Cardi B, but now people are so used to it with Cardi B that they don't say anything anymore, but kind of like that attitude, like, okay, well, you got money now, you're famous now, like you need to chill, don't respond to everything somebody say, don't don't react all the time. And you like, no, no, I'm not going, I am going to react. I am going to react because just just because I got money don't mean I won't put my hands on you. And that's <laughs> kind of like, and that's really like the vibe that um Cardi B having. And I mean, I ain't mad at sis for it. I ain't mad at her at all. We just gonna make like a little look happen because I don't have time. Yeah, I'm just gonna dip into this purple. So yeah, so it's like, let her be great. Like she is living her life. They seem like they are like a really, really cute couple. Obviously you don't know too much by social media, but they seem really happy together. So it's just like, let them be great, okay? Let them be great. Meg seemed like she out here living her best life with um, g Easy. I don't even know who that is. I have never heard of a g Easy a day in my life, but you know, some video online of her, him kissing her, basically drooling all over her cheek. And that's all I'm gonna say about that, cause, okay. I've literally just spent my entire life making sure <laughs> that purple was like blended really well. I don't even want to discuss the whole Kobe Bryant situation. Like I want this video to be really, really lighthearted and fun. Literally, I will bust out in tears. Like that's so sad. My heart goes out to the Bryant family and all the other families that were involved and all the other families that lost somebody. Like that is really just like a horrific accident. And that is just, it's so sad. Like it's so fucked up. It's so fucked up. So rest in peace to Kobe Bryant, rest in peace to Gigi Bryant and all the other people who um, passed away that day. <sighs> I can't even talk about it, but yeah. Rest in peace to them. And you know, his legacy will always live on. She was starting the legacy of her own. Um, so yeah, rest in peace to them. Uh, well, I don't ever got my shit together. Hold on, y'all. I don't know if I want to use this Reezy color or if I want to use Cupcake. Uh, I don't know. Stasia is really pretty too. Mm. 
I want to do Anastasia. It's been so long since I filmed, so like my shit's not together. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting so big. I don't know, so fast. Like to me, I'm literally wobbling all over the place at this point. But Fred thinks I'm being overly dramatic, so I don't know. I'm just gonna lay it down first and then I'm just gonna go in and clean it up. I'm going to go in probably with this. Y'all, I'm, y'all, I really fuck with y'all. And I'm so happy that, like, y'all have been loving my videos, loving my content. I am switching it up a little bit because I know y'all really like the vlogs. Like, I know y'all are fucking with the vlogs. Different videos that I'm trying to film for y'all. Like, for instance, this Get Ready With Me. I'm going to film my updated, um, my pregnancy update from, like, 17 weeks to probably 21 weeks or 20 weeks. I'm 21 weeks today. I'll be 22 weeks tomorrow. So I turn a new week every Sunday. Yeah, that's really pretty. Ooh, should I do pink? I think I'm gonna put a little bit of barb on top. But anyways, like I said, so I do plan on switching up some of the content. Um, Me and Fred are gonna do a video together. Matter of fact, I need to check our mailbox because the um stuff from amazon probably already came the jelly beans probably already came but i want us to do like a jelly bean um what is it like the jelly bean bamboozle or something I'm obsessed, y'all, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. It's so pretty. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I be shocking my fucking self because I do not do my makeup like that. And if I do, it's something real simple, real little cute little beat, little one to beat. So I really want us to film the Jelly Bean Challenge. I have my next Autism Mom video already filmed, which is going to be our morning routine. And then I have a couple more vlogs. Obviously, the vlogs are going to keep coming because I love a good vlog. Um, so I'm doing this video now. And then after I'm done filming this, I'm going to go upstairs and film my what I spend in a week. I just saw these videos recently trending on YouTube, basically like, of people in different places that they live and what they spend um, for their age and where they live, what they spend in a week. I guess just because naturally people are curious, I guess. People are curious, I guess, um, and nosy at the same time and just kind of want to see how much money a person would spend in a week or not even how much money they would spend, but I guess what people spend their money on. Like, that's the biggest thing with me. Like, that's what I just be kind of curious about. Like, what do other people spend their money on? Because everybody's different, you know? So not everybody spends their money on makeup or clothes or, um, I don't know, food, because some people eat in a lot. Do I want to do this lip? Do I want to do this liner, y'all? So pretty. I do. I'm going to do it. What the hell? Why not? YOLO. Yeah, so I've been recording what I've been spending since Sunday. And then today's Saturday. And I'm, I'm not going to spend any money today. I'm not. I've already. So I just feel like I can just go ahead and film the video today, even though it's Sunday and the day is not over with. But I just know I'm not going to spend any money today. On a 
are so pretty. That's really pretty. With like my lashes and stuff on. Y'all give me some new series to watch on Netflix. I just feel like I'm in like a Netflix rut. I already watched the second season of You. Bitch, You is so good. Like I'm so ready for the third season. I'm just like, Joe is insane. So how, like what are the odds that Joe would find somebody literally just as insane or even more insane than he is? I be feeling like makeup looks look so crazy without lashes on, but it's like, you have to trust the process. <laughs> When you're doing your makeup, it's so important to trust the process because you could just be like, okay, bitch, what are you doing? Which that's kind of where my head is at. Like, I don't know. This, this shit may have taken a turn for the worse. We got to see. Okay, so I'm going to put my lashes on and then I'm going to come back and we're going to finish talking about you. Lashes are finally on. I also like took the white off. I didn't like it. So I removed the white, already went ahead and primed using this LC Pearl Radiance Primer and I color corrected. So bitch, we, I got a lot done when I was off the scenes. So what were we talking about y'all? You, we were talking about you. Okay. So it's like, what are the odds that Joe would be crazy is bad shit and then find somebody who's literally crazy is bad shit like what he was trying so hard y'all he was he was trying so hard not to just be crazy <laughs> and then he got involved with a bitch I, I, I think she's crazier than him like i think she's crazier than him and then i just thought it was just so funny how they tried to move to like a little suburban town get a little white picket fence home um pull up in his little prius knowing they bat shit crazy <laughs> but it's like what are the odds that he would basically have everything he's been looking for love he has love he has a baby on the way so it's like he has a second chance um, to just be a good guy, I guess, be a good dad. And he still wants to be crazy, y'all. He still wants to be crazy. It's like, okay, at this point, there's no hope for him. He still is obsessing over people he doesn't even know. <laughs> but I'm just like, me and my friend Erica were discussing like, who is this next door neighbor? Like, who is this next door neighbor? Who is she? Like, I'm dying to know who she is. And like, what's about to happen? Y'all, my face, I mean, if y'all been watching the vlogs, y'all have seen my skin and it's it's been, it's been doing better. It's been doing better. Now, obviously the day that I really wanna sit down and film I got like a breakout a day or two ago, so. It's like skin, just. It's just annoying, like just let me be great hormones, okay? Can you just please let me be great? Really not asking for much. I just wanna be great. I just wanna have my regular skin back. This whole time I'm filming, I did not even have my ring light on. So, love that. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. The lighting is probably going to be so trash in the beginning of this video. But hopefully, I can, like, edit it in to look lighter. I'm sorry about that. It's like, Erica, you have a ring light use it i really want some more netflix series to watch i've already finished um 
I did start watching Grey's Anatomy, but y'all, bitch, it's just too many. It's too many seasons, okay? It's too many seasons, okay? I think I, like, just stopped watching it at, um, like, season eight. I think I got through, like, season eight. And then I think I was like, okay, I just need something else to watch for a minute. And then I just never came back to it. I do be watching Wentworth. Do y'all watch Wentworth? You have to watch Wentworth. I put Erica on. I think I put her on. I don't think she was watching it before I mentioned it to her. It's so good. It's just so good. It's like, bitch, it's good. It's good, period. This is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. This one is actually really light. This is G Medium 4. The color that you guys just saw me blend out was in deep two so this is kind of like the color difference i like to look really bright under my under eye y'all i've been trying to like tone it down a little bit but i just like it this is me trying to contain my heavy ass hand when it comes to applying concealer because i can get a little crazy First, and then blend out the concealer, and then blend out the contour. But yes, Wentworth is so good. I think it's like only it's like seven seasons, so I and I'm pretty sure they're gonna come out with the eighth season because the way they ended the seventh season, it was like, bitch, to be continued type shit. I really can't even believe that it's already February. I mean, yes, I feel like January was like the longest month ever. I do. I know everybody else is kind of feeling like that too. But I kind of needed it to be that way. <laughs> I really did because I feel like it's going to be like three or four months, y'all. These babies are coming. They're going to be here. So... I'm preparing for them. Obviously, I want them to bake and get as nice and juicy and as healthy as they possibly can inside my belly. But typically, twins come around 36, 37 weeks. Um, I think like almost 70% come. It may be 60, but like over half. Over half the amount of twins come around that time. I'm just really trying to prepare myself for them to be here in May. Even though I'm not due till June 14th, I'm preparing for them to be here in May. I'm buying so many clothes. It's like, I feel like I've been buying a lot. And then when I look at the amount of clothes, it looks like a lot if it was like one baby since but since it's two of them and they're two completely different genders you have to buy two completely different sets of clothes so then it doesn't look like a lot that i bought but now i've bought some newborn sizes i've gotten some zero to three month i think those are like the ages that we're focusing on is like um newborn in zero to three so yeah i still need to post like on my instagram and stuff my registry because i have been getting a bunch of comments and stuff from like my friends and stuff from columbia like if i'm having a baby shower for them but we are not so i have to kind of put that news out there that we're not having a shower um but just kind of let everybody know that were registered at Target if people would want to buy them gifts. I would kind of just say people can send what they want, but then, I mean, obviously I'm not gonna put my address out on the internet and I don't have a post box or anything. Not a post box, a PO box or anything yet. So yeah, people would just have to buy stuff on the registry I probably won't do much highlight either because 
I have really been loving my skin like all matte. Like I'll do a little bit of highlight on my nose, but then I'll leave the rest of my face like matte. She looks the fuck good. Which I've been trying this new thing where I'm not baking. I'm just like really pressing in the powder. All the funny faces you make when you're setting <laughs> or when you're doing your makeup in general. Using the Cover FX powder. So obviously the Cover FX powder should set really well with the Cover FX concealer. Let's smash my nose a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Not in crazy. Y'all, who watches Love and Hip Hop? Now, I have been watching Love and Hip Hop um, New York. I've really been watching Love and Hip Hop New York. I have not been watching Love and Hip Hop Miami. New York is like kind of my shit. I love Erica and Safari together. I really do like them like together. Like as a unit, I feel like, you know, they they cute or whatever. I, I don't know. This may be another unpopular opinion of mine, but I do not like Safari like individually. I think he's like extremely corny. I just look at him and I just think cornball. I do. Now that that's just me though. That's just me. I think Erica is beautiful. I've always thought she was a beautiful young woman. Um, and I'm glad that like she's seeing like the wrong that she was doing as far as like trying to hook Joe up with sin. I just kind of thought that was corny. And I'm glad she acknowledged like it was kind of corny as well. Cause it's just like, sis, you're pregnant. Like, how do you not understand what she, like, where she was coming from at the time? Like, and she was like, and then when she was like, oh, well, I mean, I have a son's father and I don't care who he's dating. But it's like, girl, your son is like 12, 13. Like, you shouldn't care who he's dating. You didn't just break up with your son's father. Like, y'all don't have a two-year-old together. Like, it's just, you know, like, it's different. Like, don't compare, like. You can't compare those. Like, they're completely different situations and completely different scenarios. Like, you haven't been with your son's father in years. Like, she literally just broke up with Joe. They were engaged. And it's still fresh. Like, she still has to co-parent with him. And obviously, it's just still hard for Sin. So, it's just like, respect the boundaries, you know? Like... I mean, you don't have any loyalty to sin, but it's just like, girl, like, let's just get it together. Let's just be a decent human being. I mean, that's all it is. That's all it's about. And I'm happy Mendeecees is coming home. I'm happy for Yandy. I have mixed emotions about how I feel about Yandy. It's like, sometimes I like sis, sometimes I don't. I don't like sis when it comes to like Chrissy and that whole situation. Or even the situation with Cambella. I don't like her when it comes to either one of those situations, actually. But I like her as, like, mother, a businesswoman. Like, I like her in that aspect, if that makes sense. I like her in that aspect. And it's just, like, I know a couple seasons ago, they revealed that, like, they weren't married, but it's like, are y'all married now? Like, did you turn in the, like, she never turned in the marriage certificate. And I don't even think he knew that. So I think he as well thought this whole time they were married and they weren't. Which I mean, that's her business, hunty. If you don't want to marry that man, girl, that is your business. But I mean, damn, I think he deserves to know that he's not married to you. Like, I don't think he knew either. In my face with the Morphe Times Jeffree Star. Apparently this has like a, a berry, like a strawberry scent to it. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Stuff, cause I just feel like it like really melts everything together. So you don't look cakey or anything, sis. I 
I think I'm gonna do Nectarine. Yeah. This is the Anastasia Blush Trio in the Peachy Love. And I'm gonna go in with Nectarine. It's just like a light little peachy nude. And then I'm going to do a little highlight. I'm gonna do a bottom mascara real quick. Milani lip liner. This is in the color Spice. I like it and then I'm going to use the Kim K lipstick this is in nude 3 I actually just picked this up from Ulta they love the lipstick and I'm not even like a big um like creamy lipstick type of person i'm more of like a matte but the lipstick is here yeah. please forgive my basic ass ponytail and the fact that i have no earrings on is the makeup i did actually go ahead and decide to put like a clear gloss on um just to give it that extra little shine you know just to just to make it hit a little more okay but i'm so obsessed with the look y'all the Amrezy palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Bitch, it's a hit. It's only $49, so go cop yours. Okay, so it's so pretty. Oh. This palette is the only thing I used on my eyes to create this look. And I love it, like, with the pink line. So I hope you guys enjoyed this random chit-chat, get ready with me, slash Valentine's Day look. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know if you like the products that I use. Let me know if you love how the look turned out. And also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be aware when I upload a video. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye guys.